Hi, I'm Dad. And I'm Bennett. What are we drawing today on drawing? Oh, I know what we're drawing, Bennett. What? Me. No, no, no. Yeah, Big Daddy. We're no, drawing me. No, 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 you. No, no. We're drawing. We're drawing the bouncer, Big Daddy, the one from Bioshock. No, I don't. I'm not a bouncer. I'm just. A, I'm an artist and art teacher. I'm a dad. I'm a drawer, draftsman. No, I know you're not a bouncer. I mean, I'm just saying that the thing that we're going to draw is called All right, a fine. I'll be a bouncer. What? I'm no. being a bouncer. No, that's not even the thing I was even imagining you were talking about when you said the word bouncer. Uh, what do you mean, like in a bar? Yeah, like a little, you know, I was a bartender. Is that the same thing? I mean, it's wait, kind of the same. Wait, what's going on with your arm? Oh, yeah. Uh, Are you turning into a bouncer? I mean, I don't know. I mean, soon I'm going to have a drill for an arm and be in the suit. Since I think this is already going to be our longest episode ever, why not have the longest intro ever, too? <laughs> yes, oh, I dude. Agree. I am the big daddy. Let's yes. go. Yes. Yes. <laughs>1960 or something, swarm or splicers were, around, were alive and they were kept killing the little sisters. So everybody was like, oh gosh dang it, we gotta, we gotta keep the little sisters alive long enough to actually, you know, produce the atom. So they thought, hmm, well, well this guy named Sushong was like, hmm, well, uh, why don't I create a giant machine, a giant man grafted to a machine to go and stab people to death and mentally traumatize a child more than 20 years later. And that's what they did. And they traumatized me. Oh, you're the child. Yes. Plot twist. That child became known as, as Ben and Blakely. The greatest, the, the guy who met Cat Perkins and also the dude who is related to a famous author. Uh, yes, yes, both true, both true. What famous author? F. Scott Fitzgerald, man. That's right. That's true, Bennett is really, I think we've said that on the channel before. Yeah, we have, but I just want to, you know, flex. Uh, yeah, uh, weird flex, bro, weird flex. I mean, how many other people could say that they're great, that they're great, 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 great grandpa has a theater after him 
Uh, well, not Grandpa. I don't think F. Scott Fitzgerald ever had any kids. He's your great, 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 great uncle. Uncle? I thought he was my grandpa, technically. Nope. Great, great, seven times great uncle. Well, I one time got a little bit curious to see if I was related to anybody else that was famous, like George Washington or something. So I googled who Escott Fitzgerald was related to who was famous. Apparently he's cousins to somebody who's famous. Okay. I don't know. Could be on the side though that's not related to you. Do you ever think about that? Oh yeah, that, that would actually kind of suck. <sighs> yeah, I, I suppose. So who wants more lore? Me, 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 I do. Oh, you're a This is These are the people that you believe are clamoring for more of your lore. Yes, please. All right, In so. In us, Bennett. Early, all right, so. Sushan was like to Ryan one day, hey, why don't we make this thing called Big Daddy? And he was like, mm, uh, I mean. Sushan was like, well, I mean, this is going to be like a one-way street, so you better... You better, you know, find people who's actually going to be willing to give up their life to be in a giant suit that's probably heavy. And he's like, no, 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 don't worry about this. And then a lot of people came, a lot of p political guys, some, some crazy people, and then they were hand-selected by another person named Sophia Lamb, and then but there was also other types of big daddies, like the Rosie... Um, the Rumbler, which you don't get to see in the original game. Uh, well, the Bouncer, the Elite Bouncer, the Elite Rosie, Delta, the Alpha series. And that's pretty much it. She just said, and the Alpha series. But anyway, Sushan unfortunately met his end when he slapped a little sister with his hand because he was frustrated because the Big Daddies, they were programmed to... I mean, protecting sisters, but they kept straying off from them. So he, uh, so he embedded this thing. If the little sister dies, the big daddy dies. Okay. And eventually, he slaps the little girl. The big daddy, you know, he gets, he's like, hey, what the heck, man? You, just, you know? So he stabs him with his drill, and he jams it into the desk like a madman. It's actually not confirmed what happens to him in the Bioshock timeline, but in the Burial at Sea timeline, mm -hmm. Elizabeth fixes him. But we're not sure if he, if she actually fixed him in the main timeline or what. Also, okay. also, guys, I need to tell you guys something really important. If any of you guys want please comment Bennett do more bash name anything splicers specific types of splicers Ryan Cone anybody even even Sinclair who nobody likes we'll even do that weird circus of value dude who fun fact is voiced by Ken Levine Is that a, an actor that you know? He's, no, he's not an, just an actor. He's actually the one who came up with the Bioshock in the first place. Oh, he's I He's the didn't... director. He's the creator. Uh-huh. Sorry, audience, I've, I've dro I brought my chocolate milk down here so I would... So I wouldn't have to wait to drink it. So anyway, guys, you're probably wondering, Bennett, how the heck do you, how do you even create a big daddy? Well, step one. You start with a small daddy. Well, and you make him bigger. No, 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 no. That's it. So first you have to somehow create a machine that can, that can time travel, and that can alternate hop, and also time travel to the 1960s, and go down to Rapture and find the sea slug, do some little experiment jazz, somehow mm -hmm. force it to if it die if it if if the little sister dies, it dies. I'm sorry, you said a sea slug? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
You see how the little sisters work, and I know we're not doing one of them, but they are actually what makes rapture, you know, rapture. They are, they have the, you see this little syringe on the photo that we have there? Mm hmm They use that to stab into the corpses of splicers. Okay. And they drain the atom out of them because... The during, atoms are the basic building blocks of life. No, atom. No, not atom, like an atom in your body. Atom as in, like, a name. But this is a genetic sublims that can alter your DNA. Okay. And grant you powers. And these little sisters are tasked with collecting it. But the reason how they even get it in the first place is because that they have the sea slug that first that they first found that made Adam and planted in the their guts. So when they regurgitate the Adam, they get way more Adam than they normally would if it was just the slug by itself. Okay. Oh my gosh, you did yours a lot faster. I'm trying to be very detailed, but still. Yes. So, my friends, it is time that I tell you the rest of my story, which I forgot. I was talking about something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You somehow have to make it so that the little sister and the big daddy have to be somehow forced to stay together or it dies. Okay. And then, bam, you get a big daddy. Well, you just gotta make sure you don't release it on the public yet, because if you do, some major stuff is gonna happen. Mm. Like, it might get taken away from you, you might get questioned, might get interrogated by the FBI, because how the heck did you even do all this? And you're gonna tell them, well, I listened to a guy named Bennett on, 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 on YouTube, who's related to a guy named Ashcroft Fitzgerald, and, uh, he told me to do it, and I'm, and, I mean, if this is yeah. all happens. No, no snitching, bro, I think is what you're trying to say. Yeah, so no snitches. You know what they say, snitches get stitches. And oh, I've never get... heard that. You haven't? What happened? Did the snitch fall and bonk their head, or what, uh? No, you see, what happened was, he snitched on somebody, and do you know what happened to him? The guy beat him up. Well, I, I do know that because you told me he got stitches. The dude he snitched on and beat him up. Oh, that's what that means. You really didn't know that? Of course I did. I was just, just doing a little bit there. <laughs> so, Dad, do you, uh, there's actually a really funny story that happened to us when we went to, to Mount Rushmore one time. Mm, what's that? We were at this uh, diner, and um, we left Charlie there. <laughs> that is true. I was. I so mean, we can laugh about it now, but your mother cried and cried and cried. We I, we only left him there for like ten minutes. That is true, but I also cried because I was worried about Charlie. Because you guys may not know this, but I actually love Charlie. He's the best. He's so funny and he's so nice. I mean, not in a romantic way, of course. Don't get your, don't get weird with us fan artists. But anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, you, you think that the fan artists are going to draw fanfic of you and your brother? Yes. What is this Game of Thrones? <laughs> that is a good point. All right. Uh, I feel like I haven't really done a very good job, but. So guys, guess what? What's that, Bennett? At the time of our recording, I have discovered something. So I have discovered how fish reproduce. Apparently. <laughs> Wait, you you just asked me, and I told you. <laughs> well, anyway, anyway, how fish amazing discovery, Bennett? How fish reproduce, and this is actually kind of funny because this thing's underwater. Um, they, the female lays the eggs. With no further processes before that, believe it or not. And the male does whatever he does. And then big bop bang, fish. I'm gonna pretend like that made sense. <laughs> well anyway, you guys. I actually have a favorite splicer. Now I want you guys to comment down below wh what you guys think is my favorite splicer. I'll give you guys a hint. This splicer has only been appeared 
in Bioshock 2, and it is rather skinny. <gasps> and it wears a black crow mask. That's obviously gonna be. Everybody's gonna figure that out. But if you do, now comment down below. Oh yeah, and it's also it has. It also rhymes with stalker. Is it stalker? No. Is it Crocker? No. Is it Doctor? No. Wait, what else rhymes with stalker? I'm gonna have to tell you once we're coloring, cause then I'm gonna tell you once we're coloring, Dad. Because I don't want these guys, I actually want these guys to actually try this time. I mean, it kinda rhymes, but not really. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I think this is my best work, but... It is okay. I mean, you could use some of the giant tanks on the back like I did, but that's okay. You do you, man. You know, I'm just trying to make it a manageable thing for, uh, uh, this is already probably going to be like our longest episode ever. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make this manageable for the folks at home. Also, before Dad is done, dang, boy, he's thick. Well, let's color his thickness. His fabulous thickness. Here we are in the future. That's a reference from Steven Universe. Okay. Um, yeah, so there you go. Hopefully, uh, I was going to say, hopefully you, you like this, Bennett, since we, you were the one who requested this. Me! Yeah, so there you go, friends. Uh, I hope you all like it. Yes. And if you do... Make sure to impale the subscribe button with your dr with your drill, and, uh -huh. and hit the like button with your drill, and comment with your with your left with your like. And that's not a drill. Right hand. Yeah. No wait, left hand. Yeah, the right hand. His right hand. Is a drill. Is the drill? Yes. We use his left hand to to type. Please send help. Please SOS. Please send help. I think all Help the me. value work I did on this actually, I was just saying to Bennett, actually kind of made it feel a little bit more realistic. Although I could probably spend hours you know, the rest of, well, very easily the rest of today since it's like 10 o'clock at night as we're drawing this. But Wait, it's it been, is? I could spend a lot of time doing this. Um, well, this is definitely our longest video ever, so let's finish up. Yes, please. Um, on your screen, you see our logo. Go ahead and click on that, kill. and you can subscribe. It. Bennett is very <laughs> anxious, <laughs> very anxious to get off and play this game. Please insert drill on my head when I do this. <laughs> Inserting my drill arm. No, nope, I'm the... definitely not. What? Also, <laughs> I feel like I have to start over the outro now since we <laughs> are. All right, on your screen, you see our logo. Go ahead and click on that. You can subscribe to our channel. Sub. You can ring the bell and you will be notified about our um, upcoming videos and any other Drawing the Lakers related material that might come out. Also, uh, smash that thumbs up. <laughs> uh, he's drilling you with his drill. <laughs> and finally, um, if you want to see more Bioshock, if you want to see other video game stuff, if you want to continue to see Trevor Henderson or SCP stuff, let us know. Let us know! We always Ow. want to hear your feedback and hear your suggestions. So we're like, we're like a therapist. We want to know everything. <laughs> Until next time, bye.